Let's take a closer look at the Layers palette and how it relates to the other palette areas we have around. We already know that the Tools palette is connected to the Layers palette in terms of what tools you have accessible based on the layers you have selected. Well now, let's take a look at the Layers palette with a little more detail. We can create new layers by simply coming over and clicking the little layer icon which looks like a little teeny post-it note. If I click on that, I get these options for other layer types that we can go ahead and choose. Vector is a drawing layer that you would work with. Any of the drawing tools that you can see over in the Tools palette on the left-hand side become accessible with a vector type of layer. The next is an image layer, something you would import, a photograph or some asset that's been created by Photoshop or Corel Photo Paint, something like that. Now, Group is just an envelope. It's just a folder that you put other items into. We'll go ahead and pop over here real quick to a default scene that loaded up when we launched the program. Yours may look a little bit different, but Anime auto loads some of these so you can see how some of these things are integrated already. Let's take a look at these layers. We have a labels layer right here, and if I click on this, this is the folder I'm talking about that is a group. We could create a new one by simply coming down to group, choosing that, and we'll see a folder pop up, and we can click and drag items into new folders or between layers if we want to. I'll go ahead and leave this right where it was so we don't change anything right there. Let me come back up and choose the other new document we had, and again to create a new document, file, new, and you get a new one, and it shows up as a new tab across the top. Let's create something different here. If I click this, we could come down and create a bone layer. Now there's nothing in this layer we could name it, but you'll notice that the tool set again changed over here depending on that. So the layers is the way to go ahead and structure and organize the entire content of your scene when you begin working with it. Some of the other options we have over here are switch layers, which are a special little thing that gets hidden and then revealed depending on what level of the layer you choose. Particle layers for special effects for creating smoke, snow, rain, all sorts of things. A very useful one, a note layer that allows you to go ahead and write something to yourself to remind yourself what you're going to do, record specific settings if you need to do that. Or if you're working in a team of folks putting together an animation, this is where you can go ahead and put some production notes in here for them to review as well. An audio layer will allow you to go ahead and bring in audio itself. A patch layer is a special feature that we'll look at when we start drawing and character building that allows you to blend elements together even though they're on different layers. And then finally we've got a text layer. So with that done right there and explained a little bit, we've got our duplication tool here. So if I've done something really fantastic in my drawing layer, I'll come over here and draw something real quick. I'm going to grab a draw shape tool over here and simply click and drag. It will give me a square because I've got a square or I should say a rectangle shape chosen up here. But with that drawn, then we've got some other things to look at right here. I can trash this layer by simply clicking on the trash can, but I can also go ahead and go to layer settings. Now, the Anime Studio Pro interface is very user friendly and it kind of suits whatever workflow you like to work with. If you're an icon clicker, you can get to all these things by clicking on the icon itself. If you'd like to come to the layer you're working on directly and say, look, I don't want to have to select this layer, and then click on an icon, you can simply double-click this layer and you'll get a modal dialog box that pops up that gives you the layer settings. This is the exact same thing that you'll get if you click on the little dot, dot, dot right up here for layer settings. With that done, we've got other options we'll explore in more depth later on. But this is where you can control some specific feature sets of individual layers and depending on the nature of the layer, remember this is a vector layer or a drawing layer, there are some specific options that are available to you because it's a vector layer. However, let me cancel out of this. We can't have two layer settings boxes open at the same time. If I choose layer 2, which happens to be a bone layer reflected by this bone icon, if I click on the little dots here for that, then all of a sudden we don't have vector options up here in our layer settings. We've got settings for the bones. So there's this kind of layered, nested ability of customization and working with the Anime Studio Pro toolset with this layers palette right here. The last item right here is layer comps, and that will be very useful for going ahead and rendering out specific natures of scenes just as you're doing some sanity checks or sharing work progress with teammates, and we'll get into that. So there is a quick top view of the Layers palette itself and how it starts interconnecting with some of the other tool sets inside of Anime Studio Pro.